grey day out there. Um, sparrows seem to be grabbing the last of the seeds and the trees and the berries. We've got some stuff hanging up outside to feed the birds over the winter. Um, right, Bushcraft My Way threw up a challenge which is a bit difficult for me. It's to show your bushcraft kit from when you first started. Um, I suppose this is all there is now. It used to belong to my father and it's um, a Normark filleting knife. We used to take this when we went, when we went fishing and what have you. Um, I started doing what is known as bushcraft before even the word invent was invented. Um, even, I suppose, when Ray Mears himself was a very, very tiny boy, because there was a, I'm 54 now, and I was out in the woods and that when I was seven or eight years of old, age, um, playing around. We used to just call it playing in the woods. Now, we call it bushcraft. It's a sexy name. It's still playing in the woods. And the majority of people that do bushcraft are just doing camping with with added with extras. And basically, that's what it is. Bushcraft is basically these days camping with extras or camping with benefits. The knowledge of making a fire. Most people miss the point, I think. Um, few few ideas on winter projects as winter's on its way. Um, we shan't get out as much and again people think that when you're doing bushcraft you've got to be outside all the time. That is not the case. Anyway, first a new book. There we go. Arable Bryophytes. Um, a field guide to mosses, liverworts, hornworts on cultivated land in Britain and Ireland. Um, we all go out trotting around the countryside, we all do our little camping out and we often see stuff that we don't know and there's an awful lot of mosses out there and nice little handbook. I picked it up yesterday when I was in Brighton and with a bit of luck it should see me, see me out. Anyway. Winter projects, uh, mostly we'll be going around jewellery making. Um, I haven't any beadwork with me to show you what I will be doing, but I've got this. This is this is a pipe cleaner at the moment, and I'm making here a chainmail bracelet made with brass, and, and this is a turquoise, bone and silver bracelet with older spacers and I shall be making hopefully a few of those. Um, if I remember right the inner centre I've got some smoky quartz as well. And in this little box I'll turn it up. Alright. Right, there we go. A small beaded bracelet in the making. I've yet to finish it off. I did this earlier in the year just to see how quick I could knock one up. It's got some small dangles on it and all I've got to do is backstitch the uh, threads and put a clasp on it. I've got many things here. These are stuff I've just made in the past. Um, you might recognise this is a love letter type pin done in the Zulu style and it's got a Greek letter sign on it. Um, I did it for somebody but they never come and picked up picked up the item so it's there. Here we have some Moonstone and Rowan earpieces. 
Oops. Broomstone and rowan ear pieces. Turquoise and rowan. And a small wire necklace. I've got to get back into more jewellery making. I've uh, neglected it somewhat over the last couple of years. This is um, amethyst, moonstone and silver plated wire necklace. I'm working on some stuff called precious metal clay. I've not used it yet. I'm just waiting for the uh, the inspiration to hit me. Um, I enjoy making these jewellery items. As I say, most people think of bushcraft as being totally outdoors. But obviously, if you was in the wilds of Canada, you would be holed up for the winter. You would have to find indoor projects to do. Mine happens to be jewellery and crafting things. You know, plenty of wood around so I can craft carve out a few spoons, it's well seasoned by now and um, I hope this short video has given you an insight of what I'll be doing through the winter um, I will be trying to get out because there is a lot to see out there and obviously winter season is somewhat different to the rest of the year uh, fungi has been good so far and at the end of this I'll Chucking a couple of stills of a brown rolling my wonderful lady found earlier today. And um, there we go. So, a oh, couple of wire wrap wings. That's got a freshwater pearl on it, or imitation pearl actually, I should say. And that's just a, a wire wrap ring. Um, I don't take commissions because. I have hard enough trouble keeping up with what I do myself for my family. But you can always inquire, you might catch me on a good day. Um, another reason why I don't do commission work is because people are never prepared to pay the price for the item. You can make a beautiful piece of jewellery, you could have spent many hours in it, and all you get is the retort of well, I could have got it cheaper somewhere else. Caveat emptor, I say on that, because there's always someone out there willing to do the same thing at half the price, but it will not be as good a quality or have the uh, depth of feeling put into the piece as I would do. And to be quite honest, to do one of these takes many hours work. It's not an easy piece to do. Because you've got to cut the, you've got to get the wire, wind the wire up into a spring on a mandrel, cut the wire so that the ends are flat, and then hook it all together. So it does take time. Time is the thing on this. But there you go. I hope this proved of interest. That's. Not your usual bushcrafty type video, but as I say, winter's on its way. And I've got to put an edge back on this beastie as well. I say, as far as the challenge goes from bushcraft my way, for me it's a bit difficult because I've been on 54 now and I've been doing this on and off since I was about 7 or 8. Sometimes with my dad and sometimes on my own. Anyway folks, I shall bid you all adieu, get out and make the most of the uh, weather while you can, it's getting pretty damp out there, it's good for testing your fire lighting. TTFN.